let's look at this uh, trig identity. Uh, we want to prove um, that sine sine raised to eight theta minus cos raised to eight theta is equal to sine squared theta minus cos squared theta is uh, times one minus two sine squared cos squared theta. So you can uh, generally, uh, when you're proving this type of Pythagorean identity, we generally take the left hand side and you get the right hand side. Or in some cases, you can take the left hand side and the right hand side, or in some cases, you can take the right hand side and get the left hand side. So let's take the left hand side. So the left hand side, LHS stands for left hand side, is sine raised to 8 theta minus cos raised to 8 theta. I'm going to use difference of two squares. So this is sine raised to 4 theta, the whole squared, minus cos raised to 4 theta, the whole squared. Now using difference of two squares, this is sine raised to 4 theta minus cos raised to 4 theta times sine raised to 4 theta plus cos raised to 4 theta simple difference of two squares. Now again applying difference of two squares in the first bracket uh, this is this can be written oh, I'm underlining this so this can be written as sine squared theta minus cos squared theta times sine squared theta plus cos squared theta times this the whole thing that is sine raised to 4 theta plus cos raised to 4 theta. I hope you know the identity sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So this becomes 1 in the next step or this disappears. So let me change color. So this is uh, sine squared theta minus cos squared theta. Now this I'm going to do, I'm going to add and subtract Two sine squared cos squared uh, in this bracket. So I'm adding sine two sine squared cos squared to make this a perfect square. So let me use the brown color. So this is so next step will uh, will affect here. So this becomes sine raised to four theta plus two sine squared cos squared. I hope you can see why I'm doing this. Plus cos raised to four. Now, this is something that I've added on my own to make this a perfect square. So if I add, if I've written this on my own, I would take away that. So basically, I haven't done anything. Sine squared theta times cos squared theta. Okay, so this is equal to, this is sine squared theta minus cos squared theta. Now, this has become a perfect square this whole thing has become a perfect square of what? Uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, the whole squared, minus 2 cos squared theta or sine squared theta cos squared theta. Sine squared theta cos squared theta. Okay, so what happens? Oops. So yeah, so this is equal to nothing but sine squared theta minus cos squared theta times now this is again one I hope you can see this is again nothing but one times squared plus cos squared is one so this changes to one minus two sine squared theta cos squared theta I'm going to do a few more identities so that's what we wanted and that's your right hand side sine squared minus cos squared times one minus sine squared times so this is nothing but your right hand side. Therefore, we can say LHS is equal to RHS.